Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Grounded. Today we're going to fight against Director Schmechter. I'm going to show you how you can beat him. And I'm also going to show you where to find little cool things hidden all over the place in that area. So let's just get right into it with the setup. You're definitely going to need a hammer. The black ox hammer is the best for this. And it should be level 7 with sour effect on it. Don't forget your beefy on the rocks. Food and a blade with the spicy effect on it. There will be spiders and some dandelions. This is the stuff I'm taking with me and I'm also taking 60 bandages with me for a backup. So this is where we have to go. We have to go to the castle, climb our way up. I'm gonna show you how. And right over here is a sour wormhole. And you have to watch out, it's a bit slippery. There are tons and tons of mosquitoes, so get ready to fight. And look at what we got here. We're gonna pick this up later because we're gonna have to jump down and I don't wanna climb all the way up again. And this is where you have to go up, take some mushroom bricks with you and you can climb it a lot faster. Now we're just going to pick up some stuff that's laying around. Don't fall in that hole yet because that's where it goes to Schmechter. And these caps, they do respawn, so make sure to take them with you. Ooh, what does this button do? Get the science. Let's go farther up. Don't forget to pick up the scabby. And there's also a milk molar up here. Now up here is the way to get to the mega milk molar in the cage. We'll do this later on as well. And on top of the tower, there is also a moth, but we're not going to fight that today. So let's just head down to the first room we were in and we're going to jump down. Now you have another milk molar. Now let's go into the lab. We need to talk before you go inside. My suspicions were correct. This lab is not one of mine. I knew it. Schmechter has been spying on me this whole time. Uh, classic Schmechter. Now, what do we have here? Standard armament security door? Ha, child's play. No offense, of course. It's now or never. Are you ready? Okay, let's get Burgle on the line. Hello, this is Burgle. I am Lab Burgle speaking. Can I interrupt you in some room? 
Colonel, I need you to hack into an ominous security door for me. I'm sending you the coordinates now. Oh, Dr. Kelly, I, uh, have one. Don't forget to empty the chest and pick up the random stuff. And there is also a folder and you will unlock something. There's also a hidden figurine, so make sure to take that with you. Now we're going to head down to where the fight will be. These are the mutations I used, but if you do have the mutation smasher, definitely put that in. Bravo, bravo. So the lab rats have finally reached the end of the maze. And not alone, I see. Pulling the strings from behind the scenes as always, Dalton. You gutless coward! Why don't you meet us here, face to face? Poor, poor Wendell. Lost your job, Trudy's left you, took the kids too. Left you with nothing but your work. At least I'm not experimenting on children! Oh, but isn't that just what you've been doing? Hiding in your little garden and using these children to fight your battles for you because you never fight them yourself? You were pathetic before I fired you. Look at you now. You're nothing. Just a shriveled, sad raisin. Well, it was nothing personal. If anything, it was your friend Wendell's fault. You see, this is the pattern with Wendell's little projects. Start with a dubious concept with few prospects for commercial success. Miss all deadlines, go over budget with nothing to show for it. So the rest of Ominence must make up for his failures. Figure out a way to salvage the unsalvageable. But as it turns out, this one time, Wendell was on to something. Not that he could ever see it in his myopia. Where was I? Ah, yes. Thankfully, in the process, we discovered more lucrative applications. Assuming the raisining can be eliminated. Despite what my former colleague might have told you, it was certainly not by choice. I hypothesized that adolescents would be resistant to the effects of raisining. The young have incredibly strong immune systems, after all. Couple that with the intense hormonal growth, and I was pleased to learn that you are not only resistant, but immune to said syndrome. Once that connection was made, what choice did I have? So you did find a cure because of the children you abducted. Of course. I'm not a failure like you, Wendell. Yes, I abducted those children. I admit it freely. Not that anyone will ever know. Obviously, I can't allow any of you to leave this facility alive. Shrinking inanimate objects will change the world, no doubt. The shipping industry alone will never be the same. That was the extent of Wendell's imagination. But people, the governments of the world will bankrupt each other for a mere taste of this technology. How come now? Although I won't mind the fame, the power, the respect for Director Dalton Schlechter. But in the end, my little rat, yes, it is always about the money. No one will sponsor your spirit of invention without raw profit, a simple elementary concept. Something you never understood, Tully, with your idealism and your raw science. You're a disgrace to the profession, Dalton. And you are a deluded fool. This is why I never had kids. Ha, ha, ha. The hypothesis was developed. The experiments were conducted. The results have been analyzed. Schmexer, you son of a... The conclusion concluded. All that remains is to take out the trash. Farewell, my little rats. Stay right there and this will all be over before you know it. Those glowing balls you can bounce back with a shield. And don't forget to watch out for the spiders. Good luck.
Okay, so we beat Director Schmector. Now we're getting this data disc. You can just read through what's in there. Now let's speak to Dr. Wendell and head back. What's on your mind? We need to mix the awakening cocktail at the Javamatic. The curse of covalent spacing reduction. My curse. Someday you too will become old, and mark my words, you will remember this moment and the halcyon days of your carefree youth. Assuming we actually get you out of this mess. Well, that's quite a lot. Could you be more specific? An early dream! A testament to my skills as an inventor? A useless robot? My final companion. Revenge! <laughs> I can't, but no, mostly revenge. Of course, I don't really mean that. I just want to get you home, and then I will do what I can to try to repair the things that have been broken. What do you want to know? Oh, I miss them so. Even though they showed little interest in my work, there were many good times. Feeding the koi, barbecues in the summer, watching Saturday morning cartoons. When did my science get so much more important than my family? I hope I will get to see their faces once again and tell them I was wrong. Everything looks good from here. This is the way we need to go to get out of the lab. And now what we're gonna do is climb back up so we can get the tooth and the other things. So this is basically the way you wanna climb. I had a hard time figuring it out, but it is fairly easy. Now what you want to do is you want to jump, open up the dandelion, and steer a little bit away from the roof, and then close your dandelion, and then open it back up and steer right into the cage. Now let's pick up the quartzite and take that all with us. He's doing that. I'm going to go up and get the science that is at the back of the castle. There is a little lip. You just have to go on it and jump down nice and steady. Having a little peek. These are all the things that you will unlock if you pick up everything and when you do the fight against Director Schmechter. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave a like. It does help out. And if you are new here, please hit that sub, join the family, and you won't miss out on some new content. I also do play this live right here on YouTube. So don't forget to check that out as well. So don't forget to hit the bell. Until then, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.
Well, this is really interesting. I've never seen this before, but we got a big muscle sprout. Let's see what we get out of it. Okay, cool. We get two. Very nice. 